like we've seen this somewhere before. Here's Johnny! <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 spoofed movie moments. Here's Johnny! For this list, we're taking a look at iconic scenes from movies that are constantly parodied in popular culture. We're gonna need a Since we'll be talking about major plot points here, a spoiler alert is probably called for. Oh, what a world, what a world. Oh. Number 10, I'm melting the Wizard of Oz. I'm melting, melting! Oh, what a world, what a world! Few final words in film are more famous than I'm melting. Who would have thought a small amount of liquid would ever fall on me? Not entirely sure why water causes the Wicked Witch of the West to melt. We're also baffled as to why she keeps a bucket of the stuff lying around her castle. But that's just why this Deus Ex Machina is ripe for satire. These immortal lines have a way of sneaking into numerous movies, especially when a character gets splashed with a harmful liquid. Sister Mother Mercy, I'm melting! I'm melting! Seeing as how The Wizard of Oz was likely one of the first movies you ever saw growing up, I'm melting! Melting! this is a reference everybody in the audience can laugh at. Oh, you little rat! This house is 100% cotton! Oh, it's shrinking! It's shrinking! Number 9 The Odessa Steps, Battleship Potemkin. Even if you've never seen this silent Soviet film, there's little doubt that you'll recognize its iconic staircase scene. Tell us if you've seen this before. A baby carriage is sent rolling down a mounting flight of stairs as all hell breaks loose. In addition to being paid homage to in films like The Untouchables, this scene has been parodied in everything from Woody Allen comedies to the Naked Gun franchise. A scene like this will also typically involve a startled mother screaming, My baby! This is a line that voiceover actress Tress McNeil is all too familiar with, as she said it countless times throughout her career. It's a miracle! Thank heavens! Woohoo! Number 8. Blofeld and Cat. You only live twice. The firing power inside my crater is enough to annihilate a small army. When people think of villains plotting to take over the world, the image of Ernst Stavro Blofeld sitting in a chair petting his white Persian cat instantly comes to mind. And when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset. And when Mr. Bigglesworth gets upset, people die! Now, it's practically a necessity for every devious mastermind to have a sinister right-hand cat. This trope has notably been played with through Dr. Claw's mad cat in Inspector Gadget. Exactly when I want him. <laughs> and Dr. Evil's Mr. Bigglesworth in Austin Powers. Look what you did to Mr. Bigglesworth! <laughs> Seeing a character stroke a cat behind a desk instantly lets us know that he or she is bad news. But it also humorously reveals that he or she at least has a soft spot for animals. It's freaking freezing in here, Mr. Bigglesworth. Number 7. You talking to me? Taxi Driver. You talking to me? You talking to me? Whenever a character is practicing his or her intimidation skills, it's not uncommon for him or her to look in a mirror and take a page out of the book of Travis Bickle. Who the f do you think you're talking to? Although Taxi Driver is by no means a children's movie, Are You Talking to Me often pops up in family-friendly entertainment. You talking to me? You talking to me, Tannen? If you're a millennial, chances are you heard this line for the first time in Back to the Future Part 3 or on an episode of Hey Arnold. You talking to me? Even Robert De Niro poked fun at his career-defining scene in The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Kids may not get it, but the adults in the audience do. You talking to me? You talking to me? Cut! Number 6. It's alive. Frankenstein. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive! Everybody knows about this legendary scene in which the scientist known as Frankenstein brings his monster to life. It's alive! 
Whenever anybody satirizes Frankenstein, you always know that they're gonna work the line, it's alive somewhere in there. You're alive! I can't believe it! You're alive! Actually, pretty much any scene involving a mad scientist, a laboratory, or a reanimated dead guy requires a winking nod to Frankenstein. The potential for satire is simply too tempting to resist. It is alive! No matter how many times we see it parodied, this is one movie moment that will truly never die. Now I know what it feels like to be gone! Number 5. Say hello to my little friend, Scarface. Say hello to my little friend! It's hard to think of a more badass movie character than Tony Montana, his definitive moment being his last stand. You cockroaches wanna play rough? Okay, I'm reloading! While taking out his enemies with a machine gun is pretty hardcore, it's a particular line that cements this showdown in cinematic history. Say hello to my riddle friend! Since Brian De Palma's Scarface made its debut, we've frequently seen this scene referenced whenever a lone man stands up to an army. Say hello to my stinky little friend! Of course, the little friend in question doesn't necessarily have to be a weapon. Maybe it's an animal, or maybe it's actually a little friend. Ain't he cute? Hey! This is your little friend? Number 4. I Am Your Father. Star Wars Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. Virtually every scene in the Star Wars saga has been parodied over the years. Oh, what the hell is that creepy little thing? Well, I'm not Yoda. Okay, I'm Yoda. Among them all, however, the reveal that Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father is easily the most susceptible to satire. I am your father. No! From Family Guy. Spoiler alert! Okay, no. I am your father. To robot chicken to space balls. I am your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. There are too many hilarious variations on this scene to count. Everybody has lampooned it, including Mark Hamill himself. I am your father. It's one of those cinematic moments that will stick with us forever, meaning that it's bound to be eternally satirized. I am your father. If you think that's impossible, search your feelings. You know it to be true. I am your father. Really? No, not really. I can't back that up. Number 3. Training Montage, Rocky. We're not saying that Rocky invented the sports movie montage, but it is the first movie that comes to mind whenever we think of this trope. Rocky's training sequence is full of familiar beats that have been repeatedly spoofed, including punching meat and running up a long flight of stairs. The Gonna Fly Now theme has also become a staple of any Rocky parody. Of course, since the franchise has a whole playlist of adrenaline-pumping songs, Eye of the Tiger and Hearts on Fire are also suitable substitutes. As long as it captures the Rocky spirit, the satire is sure to provide a knockout. You take that hostility and harness it. Use it. You got the eye of the asshole, my brother. Number 2. Bullet Dodge, The Matrix After the original Matrix broke out into mainstream popularity, there were bullet time spoofs everywhere. And we mean everywhere. Oh. Uh, I, uh. Don't believe us? Halfway into 2002, Bullet Time had already been parodied in over 20 different films. That's not even including all the TV shows and video games that made fun of this visual effect. Since The Matrix was satirized relentlessly coming out of the gate, we haven't seen quite as many bullet dodge spoofs in recent years. However, we continue to see the technique regularly ripped off in action flicks. Jiggy, robot, do -si do And close with a matrix. Oh! Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions.
You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers! I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! You can't handle the truth! And that's the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth! Hi, Perry. Number one, shower scene, Psycho. While Marion Crane's demise may have been a jaw-dropping twist back in 1960, now everybody knows about her infamous shower scene. Part of that's because we've seen this sequence spoofed time after time for over 50 years. Whenever a shadowy figure creeps up behind a shower curtain and that hair-raising violin screech kicks in, you know what's coming. Even Jamie Lee Curtis, Janet Lee's daughter, has gotten in on the gag. I saw that movie 50 times. As many times as we've seen it parodied in the past, a good psycho spoof will always leave us screaming for more. Do you agree with our list? Yes. <laughs> what other movie moments keep getting spoofed? David Letterman! Hi, David, I'm Grandpa! For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.